You can tell by my smile that this is going to be a very pleasant Tuesday evening. It's Healing Conversations time and yes, we are in your mental space yet again. Tonight, we're taking a different tour. And this time, we're visiting the comedic circles of our existence. I'm with a remarkable young man and we're exploring the topic of comedy in terms of our mental health. I've noticed that when I laugh, I tend to take things easier and relax even about those serious issues. And his YouTube content and social media content is getting us to take a different perspective on the office of the Pope. I'm talking about Kariso Ramoshai. You know him as Mr. Pope himself. Kariso the Pope, welcome. Thank you so much. Maybe let me start it this way. Mm. Nine Jigale. provinces under the sun. Mm. South Africa, Gamuka. Thank you so much Ma, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure. Yes. You know, uh, with us people who are born again, mm. right? Um, they, they sometimes say, but serious too much. Yeah, very uptight. Yeah. Very uptight. You mm. need to lose. You need to lose and up. And then, I get the interview, that's why they fail. Yeah. Yeah, you get there, you have answers to answer, but... You're just nervous. In fact, more than being nervous, you're scared. Mm. Then now English is gone, you know, and then you lose yeah. your good things. Yeah. So people need to, I think that's where we need comedy in life. Mm. Be, be loose. And take your time. And I know you as a radio host. Yes. And um, from the days of Radio TAF. Mm -hmm. And very passionate, very uh, serious music. Yeah. Gospel. Yeah. I loved your sessions because there are those sessions which you, you know, even if you missed the show on radio, definitely on social media, you would have captured it. You'll get it. Right. And then, fast forward, I see this comedic element. And before I get to that, there was your, your TV show, your, your YouTube yes. Yeah, yes. show. And now I get to this element where I'm seeing, hang on, but this guy is very funny. Mm. And you address some serious content in a funny, funny, in funny. In a very funny way. <laughs> funny, very way. funny way, yeah. So, how did you make that transition? Uh, I think, thank you so much for that one, because I always wanted a space to actually give answers mm. to this one, because I think I later found out that I could turn this into a comedy professional space, mm. because people will forever tell me, we love being around your space, your sense of humor, we love... We refresh, you know, things you say. There are times where I'll just be thinking I'm just having a normal conversation with people. Mm. And people will be finding me way funny than I even expected. Mm. Then until such time where I found out that people started telling me of how they are healing. Whenever oh. we have a random conversation, some would call me, I'm very stressed. Just to have a conversation with you, I'll come back to life. Then I sat and thought about it. And I also had issues and factors of life to address. Mm. But I wanted to come up with a way that I could get through to souls in a very acceptable way. Yes. You know, like we were yes. saying, people are always uptight and very professional and serious. Mm. But with and comedy... Yes, going through serious stuff. Going through serious stuff. Mm. That's why in coming uh, depression. Yeah. Depressed people are always seeming happy. Mm. You can't even tell they have a problem. But mm. with comedy, you can be in your own space, watch a video, and it talks to you, and you still find fun out of it. Mm. And you are healed, and you're even getting laughed at the same time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The baby, uh, even if you go to the Bible, there's a reference that a good and a cheerful heart is good medicine. That's true. So basically, I'm a psychiatrist. Yeah, I, I agree. I get I to agree. souls. Yeah. yeah. So I think at a later stage, I was like, let me give this a shot. Mm. But deliver a message. My, 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 my mandate was to tackle factors of life that people, are, almost everyone is going through. But at least in a way that it's socially acceptable, mm -hmm. it's funny. At the end of the day, it's concise yet comprehensive. Mm. Concise yet comprehensive. That's right. That's serious English. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, 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 because of the comedic element yes. to you, I look at all your videos, and I'm battling to put you in a serious space, you know. Mm. Is it something you, you pick up regularly? Maybe for me, it's not difficult so much in the sense that, you know, um, I know you before the comedic element. So I know yeah. there are moments where you can get very serious. Very but don't you think that um, you have a problem with um, getting into a room and people are taking what, you know, just you seriously because they are so used to seeing the comic. Yes, I think 
remember with people, especially with your TikTok videos, okay, whatever video on social media, mm. it's like when you are playing a character on a certain drama or film or soapy. If you are this gangster guy, suppose you get to a wedding, it's on a Saturday, you just go into a wedding of a friend. There are those, uh, still those people who will still see the gangster guy in you. Mm. They will be afraid of you. Some do not really understand this is work that you do. Mm. You get in and out of character. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are those people that do not understand that. Mm. So with me, I can be very serious. But I get a lot of it that people cannot demarcate me from being serious mm -hmm. and being, you know, funny at the same time. But I, I switch. Yeah, yeah. Given the events and all that. Just that there are still those that whatever I say, for them to hear my voice, yeah. then it's a joke. It's a joke, yeah. yeah. So, but I think if one gets to understand, okay, there can be this time that he's doing comedy, mm -hmm. there's a serious time that they can differentiate the two. Mm. Yeah, but I get, I pick it a lot. Yeah, I yeah. I pick it a lot, yeah. I think that if people are not really observant or, or really intentional in terms of listening to your content, they might miss a critical message. True. Let's start with the video you did. Mm. Um, you know, it, it, it showed how difficult it is to really please a woman. <laughs> because, you know, you were sitting with her, yeah. your girlfriend in the video. Yes. And she's now complaining about the call you're receiving. Mm. And then she realizes that she's actually wrong. Mm. And then now she's actually querying you. It's, it, it moved quickly from being about the call that she thought it was someone. Yeah. And then she calls you. And then she's angry because you are not picking up her call and she's sitting right here. And when you're watching the video, you ask yourself, yeah. what's logic here? Yeah. How can you call someone? But like she left from the sitting area yeah. to the bedroom and then she calls. Exactly. Yeah. And I see she, it's her calling. Then she comes back. I'm calling you again. Pick mm -hmm. up this phone. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Then you, I think it's back to the basis of men being very logical. Yeah. And women being emotional. And, and you were addressing jealousy there. Yes. If I'm correct. That's yeah. how I, that's that was how the I read. That was the message yeah. to say with women. As a man, you just need to understand that women are emotional. Mm. Treat them with emotion. Mm. Because if you go the logical way, the logical sense, you will forever fight. You might never win. Your yeah. phone has rang. Why do you get so many missed calls? Who's mm. level? And yeah. you are trying to explain. When you're explaining, then you are defending yourself. You're defending. It's already a problem. Yeah. Okay. She calls you this many times. It's fine. Now, let me be the one to call you. Mm. So because you missed a call, level can call you. It means she can call you, must speak. Mm. If you are not picking, it's a problem. Then you are now dealing with the problem of not picking up the phone. Okay, you pick it, she's here. Where yeah. are you? She sees you, but she's asking you, where, where are you? And mentally as a man, you're like, are we playing games mm. here? How do mm. you ask me such questions? You know? So, but the message was, it, that one I was directing jealousy and I was directing some sense to men to say, as a man, men mm. go through stuff like that in homes and marriages and relationships that if you fail to understand that women are emotional, mm. sometimes they do things out of emotion. Later stage, they look at, ah, oh, man, why did I do mm, that? Mm, because mm. they will tell you, ah, this is how women are. We are just wired this way. So I was saying to men, just always or forever remember that women are emotional beings. Mm, so mm. mix your logic with their emotion. I think you'll have a way with women. Mm, mm. It was funny, but it had a very deep message. I, re I, I saw the video and I immediately, immediately registered. Oh, yeah. this is the message that is being com uh, communicated. True. But what I, I, I would love to know is, how do you pick the topics? Because you address some critical <laughs> issues. True. It, you know, I mentioned this one. It's yeah. just one of the many. Dear Lord. Mm. I think, honestly speaking, I want to be frank. I think this is a gift. Because I never sit down and plan on a topic. Mm. With me, if I sit and I'm doing nothing, I have some time. Leisure time, I would say, okay, let me shoot. Immediately, an idea is going to drop in. Mm, mm, mm. Then I'm like, okay. Then I'll just direct it if I'm shooting with someone. Okay, mama, this part will you say this, you'll say this. Because at times I even direct the alliance and everything. Mm -hmm, can mm -hmm. be the one shooting, I can be the director and all that. Yeah, yeah. But they come like that. I think also with music, there are those that will say, God drops me lyrics or yeah. God gives me what to sing or yes, you know, talk yes. about. So with me, they I just have an I like this, a snap of a finger, then I have an idea. Mm. But the way I'm gonna project or deliver it, mm -hmm. it's gonna be spectacular. It's like, how does he come up with these ideas? Mm. So they just come. I think God, maybe Angel Michael or Angel Gabriel. There we go. The there we go. There we go with the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but they come easy like that. Yeah. They yeah. come easy like that. It's a God given issue. Mm. Yeah. It's so a gift. you get a call from um, our channel and they say, We'd like to feature you. Did you see the mental element that you are dealing with before we called you? Uh, a bit. Mm. But after the call, 
you know, it, it now registered deep. Yeah. Because I would get calls, my people are calling me an old woman or yeah. an old man will call you. You know, I forever watch your videos. On a new day, I will get your TikTok account and look. For, I've even followed you that when you post, it alerts me. Mm. I, why would... I mean, there's a lot of content on TikTok. They say you are dealing... You have this fresh concept that you brought to TikTok yeah. that never existed. Mm. And you must know that you are healing us. Yes. We are old people. We can see you are young. You know, you're vibrant. But you are dealing with issues that we are even age. afraid that we are even afraid to talk true, about yeah true pastors will, I, I remember this one time this other pastor called me and said you know when i carry there's a lot of concept that i bring yes. on, on 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 the videos mm. there's a time i'm tackling church mm. so the pastor was like you are bringing out factors and issues that people experience in church and we're very afraid to talk about. Mm, mm, like mm. your pastor's luring girls in the church yes you know someone taking another man's wife mm. and all that it's not something easy to talk about. Yes, but it's the reality. But it's the church. reality. Yeah. Some people left church because they were fighting for their husbands. Yeah. Some, they were fighting for their wives. Mm. Eh? My wife was having an affair with the pastor. Eh? The pastor took my wife for a vacation and all those things. Mm. Now, if you'll have a way of communicating a message, then so be it. Mm. I was like, at the end of the day, you will see there's God, there's church, there's a human being. Mm. If you can differentiate these things, you'll end up living. Some have even left God. Mm. There's no essence of going to church. If a pastor that we should now you know, look up to is now taking our wives, then what's the essence for yeah, church? That you know? deep, then yeah, that gets deep. You're addressing deep issues. Mm. And let me tell you, my boy, it may not even be easy. You may even end up fighting. You may make enemies. With a lot of yeah. pastors. But I was like, I think I got the deeper sense of the message of what I'm trying to tell mm. to the society. Mm. To say, I'm not trying to make friendship. Mm. For as long as God says, tackle this issue, then I tackle it. Mm. So it's a message that I'm bringing. I think I'm preaching. Yes. South yes. Yeah, and uh, I'm just dealing with souls. My patients are souls. Mm. Yeah, I'm a psychiatrist. Educational as well. Your content is True. very educational. That's what you, you, you aim for. True. To teach people of different mechanisms, mechanisms. of coping. Yeah. I think th there's this other video. Uh, the, the very two, very first two videos that trended. Mm. The first one, I think it hit about your five million in three days. And right now, you must have a lot of money. We'll get to that one. Hey. Now, hey. This girl was coming. Okay, I met this lady walking by the roadside and I stopped. It was sunny. I was driving this convertible car. I was like... I saw that. You saw that one? I saw that. Invited the lady in yeah. for a lift. When mm. she gets in the car now, she's putting her legs on the, on the dashboard. dashboard. Yeah. Lay low, you mm. know? Mm. And then now we're having a problem. Mm. It was supposed to be a lift I drop at uh, whatever point. Yeah. Now I told the lady, the girl, if you go to school, and you make your own money, mm. you buy yourself such a car, mm. your, cha your perspective will change. Because that's the mindset and the perspective ladies are having recently. Yeah. Yeah. If they just meet a man that is moneyed and they call him Mugoni, mm. it's done. Mm. He will pay for everything. Yeah. Has to just make her nails, her manicures, mm. and put your legs on the on dashboard. The dashboard yeah. Now you see, such a person is now limited. Mm. So when they are saying, go to school, that I was trying to say you can do better for yourself. Yeah. And yeah. If, if you are an, an independent woman, you have your own stuff, mm. there's no way another man is going to jump on your head. Why don't you put your legs on your own car's dashboard? Yes. Yeah. And if you buy your own, mm. one thing I've realized, you cannot buy your own car with your own money. Mm. Have it clean and you put your legs there. <laughs> Once you see yourself putting legs on a car, that yeah. is not yours. Yeah, yeah. Even when it passes by the road, we can see, oh, no, that one is a side. The passenger. And what? Mm. She's a side. Oh, side. Cheek. Cheek. Yes. Okay. Now make your research. Tell me of a woman that will put her legs on a man's car. Mm. You'll find your one person that's saying they're going on a vacation, or unless the lady wants to brag, or mm. one flex to other ladies, this one is mine. But 80 for 90 percent, yeah. side cheeks. Mm. They're trying to make a territory that is not theirs. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, tonight we are dealing with us. <laughs> you know? No, no, so no. If, you have, with us. if mm. you have your own stuff, you buy your own car, you're like, ah, what is a car? I can, okay, tomorrow I'll drive that one. Mm. You know, the perspective has changed. Mm. We, yeah, we are now, the economy, uh, the cost of living is too high. Mm. How we is it now changed? go for independent women. Oh, so it's... So those that are still saying Mugoni must. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint you, ladies and gentlemen. We, we, we got the other route now. No, no, we switched. Musebe must come to the table. Musebe must come to the table. We sit down. 
we want to buy that car, how can we go about it? Yeah, how do we bring in jointly? 40% and you know, let it be, let, let's have joint accounts. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Times have changed. Mm. We are in the fourth industrial revolution. Eish. So, Kamina Gawain. Yeah. Imama must. Imama must. Eish. Yeah. I think we must find a name for, I agree we are Mugoni. Yeah. So we must find another terminology for on the side of women. No, it's the Musibia, this is the pillar, this. So it's the Musibudis. Oh, they must come. Okay, they must come. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, Imama must. Mm. Mm. Imama mm. must. You are addressing some serious challenges. You know, suicide rates is very high. Very. Uh, statistics report very, you know, shockingly, you know, alarming rates mm. of suicide. And um, in, in, in the current economic climate that we live in, Right, people are no longer employed due to COVID. True. Businesses have shut down. Shut down some yeah. businesses are struggling to re to recover. Right. So some of our brothers and sisters have lost their jobs. Mm. Let's talk about the reality of the pressure financially. You know, on 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 um, a young man mm. who has lost his job, and you know, when he had a job, he had a, a, a nice relationship. It was comfortable and everything. Mm, it was nice. Yeah. But now things have changed. How does that affect them? Because we hear of the rate of suicide going high in the young men. It's simple. Yeah. I've been talking about this even yesterday. Mm. I think angels are now here. Mm. Gabriel, Michael, they are here to, you know, escort the Pope. Yeah. Choices. Ish. Choices. Mm. You've already said it that. When the guy was working, things were okay. Mm. Take it in a relationship. Once you lose your job, most of your aspects or many aspects of your life are going to change. Mm. They're definitely mm. going to change because you must now make new choices, new living arrangements. Mm. So what happens with those ones that are having pressure and all this, they pressurize themselves. Or they allow it. They allow it. Yeah. Because yeah. you are giving yourself pressure to live beyond your means. Mm. And you know very well, I can't afford this lifestyle. But it's like you have people to please. The problem with our society, we always want to look, you know, affording. We always want to look, ah, man, we can do this. Mm. Yeah, man, they must not take me for granted. Yeah. I can drink yeah. this whatever thing. Mm. You understand? And some women will be pressurizing men. Ish. My man Tabi said, we'll put on this beautiful best weave and then ish, we forever socialize and then next I must, you know, yeah. you get into debt. Ish. Now you must get your loan sharks. You must know now borrow money from people mm. that you cannot pay back. At the end of the day, you have stress. You need us to come and make you laugh, but mm. you have stress. Mm. You know, mm. yeah, stress that you, you know, self-inflicted. Next thing you think, let me just die and rest. Mm. When you could have actually managed. When you could have just managed to say, okay, I can afford one, two, three. Mm. For now, mm. let me get to this point. Yes. And then you live a stress-free life. Mm. But choices, if choices are wrong, it's a problem. Mm. It's a problem. Ish, you are talking about something very important there. You, you, you are actually saying that hey, many of us are faking it until we make it. There's difference. Yeah. There's living beyond your means. Mm -hmm. There's faking it until you make it. Mm. Faking it until you make it. I don't even think the right terminology will be faking. Mm. It's trying to live it or trying to, okay, conceptualize it before it manifests. Oh. That has to be the right terminology. Okay. Because when you fake a thing, you know the, the, there should be original. There should There's be a fake. Yeah. Like that. Mm. So when you fake it, for me, it's not the right terminology. Mm. It's perspective. It's like, okay, tomorrow I'll be this. It's like back to dress the way you want to be addressed. Oh, so if okay. I'm dressing like a CEO and I'm not a CEO, am I faking? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not faking. You have faith. I you have faith. faith. I'm anticipating for where you're going. You understand. Yeah. So it's different. People should not confuse the two. Mm. Don't live beyond your means. Eish. Eish. The reason why we have debts is exactly that. Mm. So people do not want to live according to their pockets. You know, drive you or whatever. Okay, it's not a problem. If you can move from point A to B, thank God. Mm. You understand? In whatever means that you are able In to. In whatever yes, means. Yes, yes, yes. You're not, at least you are better than someone who does not even have at all. Mm. But our problem is we are putting pressure on ourselves. We need to, you know, you, you, you remember the German cars, the German machines. Mm. When you get to a place, they must fill you from your, from whatever that you're driving. Yeah. And yeah. ladies will give you pressure. If you are talking to me, take a very good look at me. What car mm. are you driving? Mm. So you already pressurize yourself to say you must meet a certain level of her life for you to qualify to talk to her. Eish. It's already wrong. Very distorted, man. Now with that one, you, you already see that 
there's nothing you're going to build. Mm. This one is here to gain. If you stack at a level, she's gone. Eish. And now, there's this other guy who was saying he has a woman like this. Mm. Things were okay. The guy at some point lost his job. The lady changed. Treatment. You know, she drastically changed. The guy was having so much stress. I was mm. like to the guy, why are you stressing? Mm. If you could be with this woman to this point and you lose your job, now you thank God you even seen her change. Before. before do away before. with her. Yeah. Do away with her. She's changed, right? Yeah. So do away with her. Because if you get I in a marriage with that person. Oh. Mm. Now the lady was now telling him that I mean there are better guys who can you wow. know take care of her. Wow. Wow. I can't stay with someone who's unemployed. Wow. You understand? Ish. If at that point you are not sane enough to make right choices. Mm. Your next move is suicide. That is very true. You'll be saying, I've been through thick and thin with this woman. Mm. She's the woman she is today because of me. Yeah. You know, there are men who took their women to school. Mm. Literally everything about their women was because of their man. Mm. If such a woman changes tomorrow and goes against you, mm. you must be, I think you must be wise enough to make right choices in such a pandemic. I mean, a... Uh, uh, Situation, a yeah. situation, yeah. you know, a predicament. Because mm. if you make wrong choices, you're gonna end up bad. But let's speak about you know um, investing in oneself. Mm. Because you know, if we take what you're saying and, and and to the core of many of the issues you address, relationships, mm. relationships, should we really be focused on investing in in in, in people? rather than investing in ourselves. Are we, when are we going to, as society, get to a point where you say, I choose me? You know, I love me. Mm. When, if I get someone we should get that there. I build with, that's good. That's, that's where we should be at. Mm. Problem, I think we have twisted it. We are living for, for people. Oh, yes. In every aspect of our lives. Mm. People now no longer buy cars because they love them. Oh, or because they, they can afford them. They buy cars, yes. Mm. They buy cars so that neighbor can see I'm driving a Bentley. Oh, yes. They need to take me serious. Mm. Mm. Already is a wrong choice. Yeah. I, 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 you understand? Myself, um, it doesn't matter what I think about myself. As no. long as those ones are As long out. as those ones, they see already, I'm the real deal. Yeah. I can do all it takes for them to see me as a real deal. So we should get to a point where it's forever about me. Yes. Another person coming into my space has to be a plus. Mm. But today it's them over. Yeah, yeah. That's where the problem starts. Because if ever we were just concentrated on ourselves, we would not have stress, I'm telling you. Mm. You will know I have, hey, I don't have money. Mm. It means, okay, I'll wait until I have money. Yeah, if I can't afford but it. But because I can't of afford someone, it. When, when, you, when you're broke, you're not thinking of yourself. You're thinking, hey, tomorrow we must go out with whoever. They're going to see I'm broke. Mm. I must make means before tomorrow. Mm. Deaths. You borrow things. Next thing, things. You, you borrow your cars. Next thing, you get in accidents. Now you got into serious. You just bring yourself too much stress. Unnecessary. Mm. And at the end of the day, if you cannot, you know, manage that stress around, you end up killing yourself. Suicide. You know, wrong choices. Mm. Hence I said, I think highlighted choices. Yeah. If you base yourself or put yourself in a space where you're doing you, I think you're most familiar with the saying, but what worry? Yeah, what will people say? Who cares what they say? Yo, that one needs to you to tell to the camera. Who cares hey. what they say? Because if you do it right today, they can still decide to talk bad. Yeah. If you do it wrong, they'll still talk bad. Mm. So better do you. That's the best way of life. Mm. Wow. I remember when I started with with the content, mm. a lot of people have been asking me, why do you sell, I mean, why do you call yourself Pope? Why, why? That's a very interesting question because, you know, given... Uh, why, why the title? Yeah, yeah. Do you deem yourself highly of other pastors? Mm. What are you trying to say? Or related to the, you want to go the Vatican route there. You understand? Yeah. Some came to a level where they were saying, ah, this boy man is taking chances. You know, whatever he's saying and all that. It's, I always said this, that, it's like social media. Mm. Remember, everyone is on social media. Or a high rate of people are on social media. But if you get there, I said it on the other interview, I was saying, if you now take your photo and you post it on Facebook, why do you post it? Mm -hmm. Some people are saying, ah, I want to entertain people. I want to see, I want to get likes. I want to get reactions. I want to get comments. I was saying, now that's wrong. 
Mm-hmm. Whenever, let's, let's take Facebook for, for instance. If you post a photo on Facebook, the main aim, I believe, is for people to see what you have posted. Mm-hmm. Which, for as long as it's on Facebook, whoever that has Facebook will see. Mm. Stop caring about likes. Stop caring about comments because two people can react to your post, but yeah. only to find out a thousand people have seen your post. Mm. And have not reacted at and all. And have not reacted yeah. at all. Yeah. But if you base your interest on the likes or your reactions and you get one, out of a very best photo, mm. you will be very, very discouraged. Mm. It mm. starts there. Yeah. Regardless of how serious challenges we face in life, there are always lessons that can be learned. And I'm happy that there's a platform, there's a door that is being opened to bring comedy into the space that is proven to be educational and mind opening. Join us again next week as we discuss part two of my conversation with Cariso the Pope on Healing Conversations. yourself a copy of our latest books, The Mending of a Broken Vessel, and Maintaining Your Joy, a journal for daily positive living, visit a bookstore near you.